everyone! In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the type tool. It's an important tool to learn, it's quite simple and straightforward, um, but there are a few little things that you do need to know about it to, to be able to use it well. Okay, so down the left hand side of your tools, there's the type tool, click on it, drag it on. First thing, you can change the size of your text later on, but it's always worth maybe setting it to a good size at the start. So I've set mine to 300, but you can change the size in there. So I might even make it a bit bigger, 350, and press enter. Okay, Ooh, press enter. And then click back into your type box, your text box, and start typing. So I want to start typing. Okay, so here's the text. If I want to change the style of the text, I highlight it, and up here in this drop down menu, I can work my way through all the different built in styles. And you can import text uh, fonts into Photopea. So I've actually imported Helvetica because I use that quite often. But you can go onto the font websites, the free font set websites, all paid for, download the font, and you can open it by going to File Open in Photopea, and it will appear in here. But Photopea's actually got loads of different fonts for you to use without you having to do that. So you can change the fonts in there. Up here, again, you need to have it highlighted. You can go into this black box here. This is the color of the font and you can change the color. Okay, so we've got our size, we've got our color. And then in here, you can change whether <coughs> you want it to be the regular font. Some of them have bold, okay? And a lot of them don't so but there are other options in there so you could change it to bold you could change it to italic change it to regular if those options are available you can change the alignment here okay and once you're done you can click tick the other thing you need to know about the text tool or type tool is that if you want to put some more text on and you start typing again oops if you see what I'm doing there, I'm typing, but you can't see it. And that's because the box that it's in is not big enough. So drag that and make that bigger. Click on your pointer tool and that will allow you to move it about. Okay. But if you wanted to go back and work on this one, I'm clicking on this one, but it's moving this one. That's because you must make sure that you are selecting the text that you want in the layers panel. Okay before you click on it with your pointer tool otherwise you're not going to be able to do anything with it the other thing is if you want to go back in and do something with this text change the color or change the style of it okay you can double click on it making sure that the layer is selected first and then you can um go to those options there or if i click on that other one you can click back on the text tool there and that will allow you to just sort of click within the text box itself so there's a few little things that you need to know i want you to type your name in two separate text boxes and i want you to practice changing the fonts styles colors and sizes i want you to practice going between the two different types of layers with the two different text in it and selecting them and changing them and get your head around how you actually click on the text tool uh, sorry the text layer and move the object in that layer around okay i want you to have a good practice with that because you will be using text quite a bit with your designs okay have fun